This is the Navy 90, recapping the past week in Navy athletics and previewing what's next in 90 seconds. Number one men's rugby capped an undefeated regular season with a 34-26 win at Army on Friday night. Ryan Bullock scored two tries, while Vaughn Schmitz, Lewis Gray, and Matthew Thibodeau helped Navy take down its arch rival. The Mids returned to the pitch Saturday, April 15th at Prusmac Rugby Complex for the D1A playoff quarterfinals. As the number one seed, they'll play the winner of five seed Davenport College and, get this, four seed Army. Women's lacrosse blanked Lehigh in the second half and left Bethlehem PA with a dominant 15-4 win. Lily Denton scored four goals, while Ava Yovino, Lola Leone, and Tori DiCarlo all had Hatties. Sophomore goalie Emma richard -L stopped 11 shots, tying her personal best set just a couple weeks ago against Jacksonville. The team allowed its fewest goals in a game this year. The Mids are riding a six-game win streak, and they'll put that on the line Wednesday when they host Lafayette. Game time is at six. Then on Saturday, the Mids will welcome in Colgate, 12 noon opening draw. Junior midfielder Max Hewitt scored a career-high five goals as men's lacrosse took down Holy Cross on the road 13-8. Navy never trailed. The mids are back at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium Friday night for a prime time date with Boston U. That's on CBS Sports Network, face-off set for 7.30. Baseball took three of four contests at Max Bishop Stadium, sweeping Saturday's doubleheader with Lehigh and splitting Sunday's twin bill against Lafayette. Team captain Nate Mitchell fanned 10 batters and pitched all seven innings of game one on Saturday against the Mountain Hawks, a 15-1 Navy win. In Saturday's game two, the midshipmen rallied on an eighth inning Brock Murtha RBI triple and Logan Keller sack fly to earn a 3-2 victory. On Sunday, senior Thomas Russell went a career long six innings and fanned a career high eight batters en route to a win in game two against the Leopards. Keller added his second home run of the season. Wednesday, we're going Major League. Navy and UMBC at Camden Yards in Baltimore. First pitch is at 6 p.m. Then Saturday, a doubleheader at Holy Cross, followed by two games Sunday at Army West Point. Gymnastics rallied from behind and beat Air Force to bring home the title at the USAG Collegiate Championship in Springfield, Massachusetts. Then on Sunday, sophomore Isaiah Drake posted medal-winning performances on the vault, pommel horse, and rings during individual competition. Head coach Kip Simons was also named co-USAG Coach of the Year. The team is back on the yard at Halsey Fieldhouse Saturday for the ECAC Championships with first touch set for 2 p.m. Both men's and women's tennis opened Patriot League play with wins. On the women's side, the mids picked up a 7-0 win at Lehigh on Saturday and a 6-1 win at Bucknell on Sunday. In both contests, they swept singles play. That's five wins in a row for Navy, who visit Army at West Point for the star match on Saturday at 11 a.m. For the men, sophomore Luke Garner and freshman Annika Thayanala rallied to win three set decisions as Navy beat Boston U 4-2. The team will host Lehigh at the USNA tennis courts on Saturday with first serve at one. Track and field competed in the first Navy Invitational of the spring. No team scores were tallied. It served as a tune-up for the upcoming star meet with Army Saturday at Ingram Field. This was the Navy 90 presented by Lidos. For Navy Athletics, I'm Luke Slabaugh.